Picking your favorite game isn't an easy task. Everyone's gonna be stuck between two or three, or maybe they just can't rank their top favorite games. However, I think something easier to do is to figure out your own favorite game series. And for me, I'm not hesitating, it's Kirby. When Kirby Superstar Ultra released on DS in 2008, I wanted the game out of the fact that it was several games in one big game. Such simple platformers on the surface, but fun and charming with deep varied power systems at the core. Kirby's one of those rare series where there isn't a single bad game, which only a few others on the top of my head have achieved. At worst, the games can be average, but you're gonna find a lot of fun in them anyways. Honestly, I could go on all day as why I love the series, but we got a let's way to start. Everything I did and could say about the series, however, roots back all the way to 1991, with the release of Kirby's Dreamland on Game Boy, masturbated by the man himself, Masahiro Sakurai, at the young age of 19. Let's begin. Hello, everybody. Kirby... Start. Okay. I don't know what that was about. Welcome to Kirby's Dreamland. Uh, this is a short little let's play I just wanted to do because I really fucking love the Kirby series. Uh, you sure already know what, what I'm doing it for by now if you've seen the intro part of the video, so we're just gonna keep going. So, this is quite a short game. I'm just gonna go through it, show off everything in the game, and that'll be it. So, uh, yeah. Indeed. But, yeah, in the- fuck. Okay, I took some damage, but in this room, if you take any damage, you could grab some, uh, soda bottles, which heal two of your health units. You can take six hits in this game before you die, unless you get insta-killed by, uh, like, pits and crap. I'm not gonna go through my time explaining every single enemy I see here, that's a Bronto Burt there. Every time I think of Bronto Burt, I think of Kirby's Avalanche, where the announcer's like, Bronto Burt! Alright, so here's our first mini-boss for the game, and this is Poppy Bros Senior. He's a re reoccurring mini-boss in the series, and, uh... Very basic, all he does is jump around, throw bombs at you, you have to inhale the bomb, and spit it back out at him to kill him. One thing that's very different about this game compared to the rest of the Kirby series is that you don't get power-ups, or abil I mean abilities, not power-ups. Well, they basically are power-ups. This game didn't have it. Uh, so your main form of attack is spitting and shooting stuff out. Spitting and swallowing. E for everyone. Okay. So this is a very easy game. This game was intended to be kind of like a beginner's video game, I guess. Uh, which... You know, it really... <laughs> Very much is like an early Game Boy game, but uh, I had a lot of fun playing this back as a kid. Even though it's not my first Kirby game, that goes to Kirby Superstar Ultra. It's just a very quick and easy game to pick up and play. It only takes a half hour to beat. That there is a maximum tomato, one of the reoccurring uh, health items in the game in a series, heals all of your uh, health points, and also an item in Smash Brothers. Which is another reoccurring item in that series. Because they're both made by the same developer, because I guess Sakurai loves his Kirby, his son. Alright, so here's the first boss, Wispy Woods. This man shows up in pretty much every fucking game in the series, and he's just a tree that sits still. You just apples back at him, you can kill him in six hits. Every bo every main, like normal boss in this game has six hits just like you. And see how easy that was? Yeah. So our goal for this game is that King DDD has taken all the food in Dreamland. This isn't shown in the actual game, uh, but this isn't shown in the actual game, but it's shown in the manual for it, which I'll put up on screen. He took all the food from Dreamland, and you gotta go stop him, get it all back, you know. And I guess you get hearts for doing that too. So this is stage 2, by the way, Castle Lolo, and it, if you notice at the start of the level... Fuck. If you notice at the start of the level, there was, uh... There was like a little intro animation. That, uh... Is a kind... It's not a reoccurring thing in, in Kirby games, but it shows up in quite a few. It shows up in this one, where you get like a little intro animation, really cute little thing. 
uh, fills up in Kirby's Adventure and Kirby's Superstar, which is in the remake of this game, I guess. Pseudo remake. So this stage is very strange because it's never been remade into any other Kirby game. Um, and this song is later used for a bunch of boss themes in the series. Mainly, uh, Dinoblade's boss theme from Kirby Superstar Ultra. Alright, so we're just traversing here in some water area. Kirby swims very weird in this game. And right up here, we have the Hyper Candy, I think it's called. And you get to hear this song. Makes you feel very hyper. <laughs> Here's these fucking mummy things. I always thought they looked like King DDD mummies. I don't know why, they only look like that in this game and like a few of the a few of the other 8-bit ones. In later games, they're clearly not. Uh, so here's the main boss of the stage, it's just Lolo Lolo by himself. I also find this to be a very strange mini boss because it doesn't reappear in any other Kirby game as well. But it's very easy, you just do that and you win. You don't actually go through that door there, it just kicks you out after a little bit of time. Got these Mario-like question mark blocks that have stuff in them. I actually didn't know that, I just thought they spewed out enemies. But yeah, you uh... I guess you just get stuff from it. And you might have noticed that <laughs> ring of enemies there, huh? Well here's the curry, which is... Commonly known to be an item in Smash Brothers, and not from this series, because it only shows up in this game, I think. But you basically have to spit out fire. This is like a precursor to the fire ability in uh, Kirby games, in like the later Kirby games. Uh, let's keep going up here. This level design actually gets kind of... I think it gets reused in... Uh, there's nothing in here. It gets reused in one of the stages from Kirby's Adventure, specifically in the, uh, in Butter Building. In one of the stages in Butter Building. Which is the third world of that game. You can tell I know a lot about Kirby. It is literally my favorite, literally my favorite series of all time. Okay, now here is the second boss, which is Lolo Lolo and Lala. These characters actually come from a previous game made by HAL called Adventures of Lolo, which is more like a kind of top-down puzzle game. I played a little bit of the first one because it's available on uh, Nintendo Switch Online. Maybe I'll stream them one day because I've never actually beaten any of them. It's an interesting starting point for the kind of just how, I guess. That's what they made before Kirby. And yeah, all they do is basically just go around uh, in this area and shoot stuff at you. Or not, they don't shoot stuff at you, but they push these blocks. Weirdly enough, Lolo Lolo and Lala don't show up that much in the series. Uh, they show up, like, obviously in the remake Spring Breeze from the Superstar. Uh, in a few side games, I think. Like, I think they show up in a mini game for Kirby Mass Attack. And they're in Kirby's Blow Up Blast on 3DS as well as a boss. Now we're in stage 3, which is Float Islands. I'm pretty sure it's called Solid Islands. I wasn't really reading. Uh, I didn't show this off earlier, but this is the bomb ability. You basically just spit it out and like a big bomb item shoots forward. Here we got a Waddle Dew, which unfortunately doesn't give you an ability. In later games, it would give you the beam ability, which is a staple. It's actually I'm pretty sure it's the first ability you'd get in uh in Spring Breeze the version of this game. Oh fuck these guys. I really like I really like the music in this stage. It's just very calming. That is the mic ability, which uh, shows up as guess what the mic ability in uh, in later Kirby games. Pretty sure it's an adventure, and you get three uses of it as opposed to the one you get in this game for picking it up. All right, let's climb through here. If you're playing Spring Breeze, this would actually be the second stage because it skips over uh, Castle Lolo. Which is, of course, kind of weird, but I guess 
I guess maybe they just wanted to make it shorter for like the beginner stage in uh, Superstar. I don't know why they had to cut out a whole thing from it, but hey. Here we got a 1-up, which we don't really need much of because the main game is very easy. I haven't died a single time- oh, I take damage as soon as I say that. Great. Uh, these enemies right here are interesting, they're called Kaboo. And Kaboo is actually interesting because he's treated as like a like a primordial god in in the anime which the anime is very just fucking weird but I gr I grew up with that shit that shit was awesome like they had all these weird side characters like based on the cappy enemy in this game uh and they're all like residents of like cappy town which King Dedede ruled over, yet he'd still get arrested, and it was weird. It also had like a mix of uh, 2D and 3D animation, which kind of looks janky in some places. I kind of like it. Kind of gives it its own style. Also, if you're holding the curry ability and you go into water, you it disappears. Thank God that doesn't happen for the fire ability in uh, in later games. So now we're on a ship. I didn't fail to mention this. But yeah, we're on a pirate ship now, and we're gonna take this motherfucker up to the sky. It's the Warp Star, where his main form of transport. Land on this giant fucking whale, so it spews it out, spews us out of its anus. I, I had to look into like the actual biology for a whale's blowhole, because it just seems so fucking weird to me. Now here is I forget the name. I'll put it up on screen, but it lets you. Float upwards and shoot shit. Air bubbles. And here's our third boss, Kabula. It's the most unique boss in this game because we're in a uh, 2D shooter. This guy's pretty easy. Probably the hardest boss in the main game. It's gonna ram into us, shoot some bullets into us. Uh, this boss shows up a few times in the later in the series. Um, he shows up as a boss in... Uh, in Revenge of the King, which is in Kirby Superstar Ultra, where he has a really good boss fight theme, which is a remix of that one. And he shows up again as Core Kabula in Planet Robobot, which is another really fun fight. 